air. Students, the pictures of Earth taken from the artificial satellite shows that the Earth is surrounded by five layers of atmosphere. Can you imagine that? Troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, ionosphere, and exosphere. A lot of spheres. A bit confusing, I know, so let me repeat. Troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, ionosphere, and exosphere. Troposphere is closest to the Earth. Come on, let's observe these layers more closely. Wow, here we can see so many colorful balls, isn't it? But as we are moving up, the number of balls are decreasing. Students, these colorful balls are nothing but the different types of gases. Here, you can see more number of blue and red balls. The red balls represent nitrogen gas, which is 78% of total composition of gases. Of these, Blue balls represent oxygen gas, which is 21%. Here we can see green balls too. Which gas is this? Hmm, this is argon gas, which is only 0.9%. Now, these sparsely scattered yellow colored balls are of carbon dioxide gas which constitutes only 0.03% of air and rare gases like krypton, helium, xenon, etc. And now, these violet colored balls represent nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide gas. Apart from these gases, we can also see very, very small balls. These are water vapor and dust particle. So students do remember the five layers of atmosphere. If you do, repeat with me. Troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, ionosphere and exosphere. Very good. And which are the gases present in atmosphere? Nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide and other rare gases, water vapor and dust particles. Wow! That's a lot we have learned! Pat on our backs!